If I were here three, month, three years ago, I'd be the glummest, unhappiest, and probably the least accomplished person in this room. That's me right in the middle. You see how happy the other two guys are? I'm that really unhappy guy who's trying my hardest to smile. I had a C average, and I played video games 12-7, really not knowing what to do with my life. My parents were really worried. They kept ranting on and on, telling me to work harder and harder, and they hired tutors, basically, for me in almost every subject. Until one day, I became really, really angry. Because on top of all this tutoring and ranting, I had this really arrogant friend who kept showing off to me, saying, oh, how stupid I was. And that day, I sat down to myself and wondered, hmm, maybe it's not that I'm not smart enough to take the initiative to work harder. Perhaps it's my foundation. It's how I think. Throughout the past three years, I've explored more and more into this foundation of thinking that I like to call the entrepreneurial mindset. And here I am, much more happier, much more energetic, and relatively much more accomplished and visionary. And today I want to share with you the same tools that I've used to unlock my potential. Vision, value, and learning through both experience and mentorship. Since we're so uncomfortable with the unknown and the risks, we let the status quo set these fictitious constraints in our thinking. Tell me, how many of you, raise your hand, have been told that you can't do something? Yeah. How many of you have convinced yourself that you can't do something? Yeah, that's right, because I've told myself a lot of times. And the thing is, next time I want you to keep asking yourself the question, why? And so you no longer need to answer yourself anymore. It comes down to two things. One, I can't do it just because I don't think I can. Two, I can't do it just because I don't think I can again. It's just that one little excuse that you always tell yourself. Do you know why people perceive entrepreneurs as very special people? It's because they have such a high tolerance for the risk and the unknown that they don't let the status quo set these bogus constraints in their thinking. When I was 14 years old and I just entered high school, I enrolled in a high school program for kids to start and run a business for six months. And that was my first year in grade nine. I didn't know anything about running a business. I didn't know anything about leadership. And I ran for the position as the president and CEO of the company with about 40 kids. And my friends, teachers, and even the advisors told me almost the same thing, is that, James, don't even try. You're not gonna win the grade 12 as well. But guess what? I persisted, I worked hard, and I got that position. And now two years later, I'm working with the same organization to build pioneer and lead a national ambassadorship program. So next time, when someone tells you that you can't do something, as long as it's legal, I want you to look at them in the eyes and say, just watch me. Many, entrepreneur, many entrepreneurs are asked the same question. Why do we do what we do? Many of my mentors, I have four or five that I'm in constant communication with, as well as myself, we focus on breathing life into people. What does that even mean? Breathing life into people means value. Entrepreneurs are people who create value from scratch. In my current company, I created these $42 hoodies for a summer program called Shad Valley. Printed the, the names of the people on the back and the logo on the front. And I didn't create these $42 hoodies just for the sake of creating $42 hoodies. Here is why I created it. A video here. I got this hoodie and uh, I really love it. Oh my god, you're all smelling it. Uh, everyone, so I'm gonna say each name and what I miss about it. First of all, Abdul Malik or Malik if you want to call him. Malik, what can I say? <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, but hopefully I'm gonna see you soon. Um, you better answer your messages, because I've sent you lots of messages and didn't answer This is Abdul from Saudi Arabia, and he was also a participant in the company program, in the program. And this is what drives me, the ability to create impact and establish an emotional connection that no piece of clothing on its own could ever do. 
This is breathing life into people. This is value. As, as my mentor Yannick Silver says, that the only way to enrich yourself is to enrich others 100-fold. And it touches the heart and the soul. And that is its richest value. I've done a lot of work with youth organizations such as Junior Achievement, and I've met a lot of bright people, younger and older, from all across the world. But what never ceases to surprise me is how so many of them are unwilling to seek for advice from those who are willing to share their business knowledge and business acumen. I personally know that without a doubt, I will not be here without my mentors. They provide me with such a wealth of information, knowledge, and shortcut decisions that would otherwise take me years to figure out, if ever. And for example, where would I be without the mentorship of Michael Hyatt? Every time I come out of a meeting with him, I learn something that will take my business leaps forward. But sometimes it is kind of difficult because he doesn't cut too much slack and has been known to nail me right to the wall. And I remember so vividly, two months, two months ago, I came out of an advisory board meeting with him. And I was so embarrassed and so depressed that I just want to quit the business because he shot so many holes in my business model. But now, two months later, we now have a branch in British Columbia, Toronto, and Nova Scotia because we applied his advice. So my advice for anyone who wants to be successful is to find as many mentors as will take you on. You will learn something different every time. It takes vision, value, and a thirst for learning to be an entrepreneur. But let me make something very clear here. Entrepreneurship is not a sexy game. There'll be times when you'll be depressed, you'll be disheartened, and you'll feel like giving up. People will ask you these questions. Why are you even doing what you're doing? Is it even worth it? But my answer has always been the same and will always be the same. Not only is it worth it, it is the only way to unlock your full potential and to give you limitless opportunities for success. Thank you.